Hello everyone, welcome to another YouTube video. So like you can already see, I'm really very excited today. That's because I just re received my uh, welcome kit from Katie's Art Store. I'm a part of their creative team. So uh, they were really nice and generous to send a welcome kit. And for those of you who don't, don't know uh, what's Katie's Art Store, so it's a premium stationery store in India. Uh, they have a really nice artist grade stationery. I'll link it down in the description. So if you are someone who likes um, brush pens, water color sheets uh, watercolors or any nice premium stationery uh, they have like lots and lots of it also you can use my coupon code let10 uh, let10 uh, to get 10% discount I'll also mention it in the caption so but just so you know so yeah so I'll be finally uh, uh, unboxing the uh, welcome kit and I'm extremely excited about it and I might even do a review of some of the products that I receive especially I'm expecting Brewstro gouache so I've been waiting to try Booster Wash, I guess, ever since it was launched. And I was waiting to try out Karen Marker's neon brush pens ever since they were launched. But since I have like a lot of brush pens already, so I, I made a promise to myself that I won't be buying any more brush pens. So that, that's why it, it took me like really long to finally try them. And I'm like really excited to do a quick review to help all of you. Uh, if, if you if you are confused about buying them or if you want to buy them. So yeah, that's it. Let's get into the unboxing part. So uh, it's took, it, it took me really so long to actually, you know, get my hands on it. But I'm really glad that I finally have them here. I'll be more than happy to review it for you because I'm a big time metallic brush pens, metallic ink lover. To be honest, I, I, I also have this Colero, uh, this uh, Fine Tech metallic ink right on, uh, lying right on my table. I was just using it to be honest. So we have the Brewster metallic brush pens on top and then these Bockingford uh, watercolor sheets. So Bockingford watercolor sheets actually have been in my uh, wish list for a year actually but I've been using Canson for so long that I didn't feel like switching and purchasing. I have like a, uh, I had like a year long stock of it so I didn't buy it but yeah finally getting my hands on it to try it and Bahong paper. This is again a watercolor paper or watercolor paper. I really love doing brush lettering on this and they have like a re the watercolor paper which is cold pressed. They have a really nice texture to it. So I really like even doing my copper plate and other things on those paper because of the texture. So pick my micron uh, pens. Uh, I was running out of micron pens and it's uh, a great, uh, great brand for micron pens. And then a Karen Deco brush uh, in silver color and a Karen Pro marker in black color. So yeah. And after that we have 122 B nib for my copper plate calligraphy practice. And then we have a full series of C nibs by Speed, uh, Speedfall. We use this in uh, uh, broad edge calligraphy. So I might be practicing my gorgeous size italics with these nibs now. So and and uh, Bruce Rowe artist wash color obviously uh, as someone who likes writing on black paper gouache is an amazing alternative because gouache is really opaque for anyone who doesn't know uh, what gouache is so you can understand gouache as something in between watercolors and acrylics so they are very fluid like uh, watercolors uh, if the watercolors get dried up you can activate it by putting some drops of water so gouache can also be activated again but just like acrylics um, they are opaque so they're like the best of both and they can be used for uh, illustrations a lot of illustrators use them and a lot of calligraphy artists also use them along with their nips so uh, that's mainly why i have them over here i also have these uh, vincent and newton gouaches uh, that, that these also i uh, got from katie's art store i guess a year back actually i mean i purchased these in october so uh, i've been using this as of now i mainly put these gouache colors in tiny bottles like this one over here these are called dinky dips so i mainly put my gouache in there and i dissolve them and then uh, i just simply dip my ink or oh, sorry dip my nib and then i use it coming to the next thing we have the very popular marker paper by cancel so this is uh, around 70 to 80 yes, this is 70 gsm 
uh, this is a little translucent but I've heard that this is great for nips so that's why I have it over here I would uh, I'm, I'm finally gonna be trying these <laughs> really excited for for this as well I mean I love everything inside and then this is my uh, plain old very basic Canson because I just can't live without Canson. There's this, uh, I use a lot of Canson for my brush calligraphy, for my copper plate calligraphy. I really love the texture and I really love to do blending on it. And then we have these um, Artist Black Paper by Katie's Art Store. It's a very new launch and one amazing thing about them is that they are 300 GSM. There are really few black paper which are 300 GSM and they are uh, really uh, reasonable for the quality that I'm expecting because you know they are 300 GSM so they're going to be awesome I already know that so that's about uh, the Katie's uh, artist black paper and then there's just uh, artist watercolor Brewstro a uh, cold press sheets just um, yeah, I've been using Brewstro watercolor sheets so it's a nice addition and then we have bleed proof marker pad so I, I just thought it would be great you know if for you guys I could do a little uh, comparison between uh, Brewstro uh, marker pad and maybe the Scanson marker pad so I just thought uh, I can you know purchase both of them and talk about it in one of my other videos okay and coming to the last this, this, this. Finally, finally, finally. So, like I said, I promised myself I wouldn't be purchasing a lot of brush pens. So, I didn't even purchase these brush pens. These are Karen's. Karen's are my absolute favorite. If you check my Instagram profile, and I'll link it down in this, this uh, description. Uh, if you check my Instagram profile, you'll get, you'll find a lot of artwork there by using these Karen markers. I have the Karen normal brush markers or that, that go by the name Karen Pro marker. I also have Karen Deco brush, uh, which is simply Karen metallic brush pen. And this one that I'm unboxing right here is supposed to be um, Karen markers latest launch, which is Karen markers, a neon brush pen. Yay! So these are 12 neon colors by Carrot Markers. Obviously, I love the, their package. But you know, I just wanted to hold the pens in my hands. Because I've been waiting for these for so long. It's, it's really difficult to not purchase any newly purchased, uh, newly launched brush pen. Okay, so we finally have these. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm supposed to slide it. Okay, so just like this. No, no, it's just, oh yeah, now I remember. So, oh my god. It's so pigmented. And I already can't wait to work and brush the pen. That's all about the unboxing. Um, I ordered, uh, I, I got uh, uh, lots and lots of paper, as you can see. Uh, Cancel marker pad, I got Brewstro uh, marker pad, and then I got Brewstro watercolor sheets. I got the uh, artist black paper, and then two cancels, and then I got, I even got some inks, etc., for my dip, uh, nib calligraphy or uh, uh, copper plate or dip and calligraphy, whatever you want to uh, call it. So, yeah, I guess that's all about the unboxing. I guess I'll be reviewing some of these products very soon. So, yeah, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. So, this is the latest addition to my stash of stationery. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and do press the bell icon to never miss another video by me thank you so much for watching bye bye take care